What's up, guys? It's your boy, Damone, and today we're going to talk about how you, as a free-to-play player, can get over 25,000 Asterite for free. Now, the purpose of this video, guys, was just, you know, I talked to a lot of players and they feel like they'd be unable to get the characters or the limited heroes that they want. So I'm here to tell you guys we've been doing this experiment live on Twitch with a free-to-play account. And let me show you guys how much Asterite we have amassed. All right. Now, as we get into this, guys, currently on this account, we have 10,114 Asterite. We haven't bought a single thing on this account. All right. Um, in terms of cash. Now, just to show the proof in the pudding here, let me uh, pull up the cash shop here. Give me one second. And let me show you guys all of the history so you guys can see this. Uh, we Obviously, we've been buying the summons because that's the only way that we can get summons. We bought the other summons that were in here because they've just been giving us summons like crazy. And in terms of the purchase, we still have the first time bonus available, which means count is still free. All right. Now, with that being said, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can get all this asteroid. Now, keep in mind that we did do some refreshes because I wanted to see how like doing a, like a full refresh every day would affect uh, you as a free to play player. Now, the cost for refreshes, if you guys are refilling your wave plates, it's 60 asteroid for the first two and 120 for the last four. Because I was curious if like, let's say you decided to do this every day, like how long would, would it last uh, and still leave you in a surplus with asteroid? And honestly, we can't spend it fast enough. Um, I'll spend, you know, let's say 600 for the day and get another thousand back <laughs> the very same day. It's actually kind of nutty. So how do you go about getting all of this asteroid? Well, there's a number of ways. But the first thing I want to draw your attention to is the map. Okay. Now, the reason why I want to talk about this is because you guys already know about quests. You guys already know about the normal ways that you guys are getting this stuff. But if you guys have been getting into exploration, exploration is huge. Now, this is really important because you guys can see my exploration process progress is only 48 percent, which means that 48 percent. Uh, if you guys subtract the refreshes that we did, it's about two thousand four hundred asteroid we spent. That still leaves us with about twelve thousand five hundred asteroid. So if we went through and we finished the map, that would put us at about a grand total of twenty five thousand. Now, keep in mind, this does not include any of the tower stuff, okay? So, if we go all the way over around here somewhere, tower, okay? We haven't finished the tower. We only did the first uh, section of it. We still have the other three or four sections to do. So, that's another probably couple thousand asteroid there. Not to mention, we've only done one stage in the waving, uh, in the depths of Elusive. So, here, uh, <laughs> there's a lot more asteroid to get there. So keep that in mind. Now, if you guys, if I can draw your attention to this exploration, I want to give you guys some incentive here. Because as you guys are going through this, you guys can see that I still have a lot that I haven't done. And I've, shit, I've been running around talking to people on the stream nonstop, just having a good time. Even here, right? I only had 70% of the chest. Tiger's Mall, I'm at 19%, right? So that's a few hundred, uh, probably 500, four or 500. Asteroid, I could probably get here alone. OK, so I just want you guys to, to kind of keep this in perspective. So when you guys are starting to think about like when you guys want to save for heroes and even if you guys are pay to win, and you guys are looking for ways to offset the cost. Like these are things that you guys can take into consideration. Now, some other ways that I want to, to mention to you guys that you may or may not be paying attention to. If you guys have a red mark on your tutorials because you guys are like, yeah, I don't care about that. You know, I'm just going to let it sit there. And you got all these exclamation points here. Understand that every time you click these exclamation points and you clear that exclamation point, you guys are getting asteroid here too. So not to mention, you want to stack that on top of your guidebook. Okay. And when you guys go down to the milestones, for those of you guys who have not been doing the milestones, please pay attention to this. Okay. Because I know a lot of people miss this. I missed it for a long time. Every quest of these you guys finish uh, will, of course, give you a ton of XP. And then you get even more asteroid here. All right. So you definitely want to knock that out. Now, again, you know, back to the quest, I didn't really want to spend too much time jibber jabbering here, but there's a ton of quests all over the world. Some quests you won't even see unless you're in the area or you're close to a quest giver. In fact, even some towns don't even open up or vendors don't open up until you complete these quests. So I want you guys to keep an eye out because this is also a hefty source for Asteroid. So anyway, guys. 
the biggest thing here is we wanted to find out what was possible for a free-to-play player and looking at 25 to possibly 30,000 maybe a little bit more asteroid total as a free-to-play player if you guys are farming this stuff out and you guys are doing the quest means that this game is prepared to give you up to four hundred dollars in free currency that you guys can use for whatever the hell you want it's essentially the equivalent of hitting the pity two times so if you guys wanted to save all this essentially you could wait for your ideal character or dream character to come out and be guaranteed to get them even if you uh, even if the 50 50 year old didn't roll correctly for you in the first place so again guys we're going to continue you know playing this account free to play we're not doing anything on it we want to see how hard we can push the envelope how fast we can level how fast we can gear and see really what the difference is and it's starting to feel like really the only difference between free to play and pay to win in terms of you know power level is just the duplicates on the weapons and the armor or sorry <laughs> on the weapons and the characters but outside of that, everything else is pretty much fair game. And in terms of the more difficult boss fights, as you guys get into the boss arenas, which also gives some asteroid there too as well, um, it's really just a skill-based thing, okay? So again, guys, this video was designed to give you guys hope, to show you guys what's possible, both as a free-to-play and a pay-to-win player. Because again, if you're free-to-play, you have a ton of asteroid that you can get to summon whatever the hell hero you want. And if you're a pay to win, this can help you offset the cost of whatever characters you're summoning. So you can get that character, you know, real quick, see if you like them, if you want to continue or not, and then go on about your business. But anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to cover today. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below and I'll be happy to assist. And we'll see you guys in the next video.